How about some good news today if you're recording or producing music on Windows 11? As Scan's 3XS audio expert, Pete Gardner, has been analysing the new operating system and has got some findings in contrast to the gaming community that's noticing a performance hit because Pete's found significant performance gains compared to Windows 10. So stick with us and find out exactly what they are. The gaming community seems to have been pretty vocal on a dip in performance, with results varying if you're using an Intel or an AMD CPU. But on the audio side, Pete's actually seen a performance increase under Windows 11. He's been using the standard door bench test to measure performance. These tests are run inside a Reaper session and measure virtual instrument and DSP performance separately. The virtual instrument test measures polyphony, which is the number of notes played back simultaneously at various buffer sizes using instances of contact six. DSP performance is measured by seeing how many instances of the same DSP plugin can be turned on simultaneously until the point that the audio stream starts to break up and have errors and glitches in it. These tests are done at various buffer sizes of the audio interface, which for these tests is standardized to an RME Babyface Pro FS. Of course, low buffers mean low latency, so you can have an unnoticeable delay when you play parts in. Comparing results on the AMD 5950X and Intel 11900K from the last 21H2 build of Windows 10 to Windows 11, the virtual instrument polyphony test, the one using contact six, had all the results fairly similar at low buffer sizes with a slight decrease of up to 5% on AMD and 2% on Intel at the higher buffer sizes. But it's on the DSP test where we see the big differences, weighted in favour of the lowest buffer size, with an 18% increase on the AMD 5950X and a 15% improvement at the lowest buffer size on the Intel 11900K. The AMD also gained around 4% across the board, which is a bit of a payoff for the losses on the virtual instrument test. A significant increase at lower latencies is definitely good news for anyone trying to play extra parts in on an already heavily loaded project or through a particularly intensive processing plugin chain, perhaps involving something like a tube emulation preamp, amp and cab simulators, model dynamic processing and a convolution reverb on the end. Any of those plugins may have a look ahead function or some extra latency of their own. So having the base figure as low as possible can make intensive chains playable. So Windows 11 is looking good for audio. If you've got any other questions about audio PCs or Windows 11 audio performance, please leave us a comment. Otherwise, we'll see you for another video again soon.